Back to Friday Night Frenzy. It's our final show of the school year. With so many graduations tonight, a lot of the championship games were scheduled tomorrow. One of the softball games features a couple of old rivals. With more on that, back to Mark Robbins. Mark. All right, thanks so much, Joe. You know, the Class S state title game is a rematch of the last one. Back in 2019, the championship game, Summers against Coggenchug. Summers earning a last inning victory in that one. And what's really interesting is that each team still has a small core of veterans that played in that previous final. Today, as both schools held a final practice, the talk was how each squad's veteran leaders have meshed so well with a young group of talented underclassmen. Our mentality going in is kind of just like be loose like we always do and like play like we always do, but we have to have a certain level of intensity. The strength of this team is very similar to the strength of the team that we had two years ago. Um, it's just unity and everyone having each other's back and just going out there, not playing for yourself, but playing for your team, doing everything for each other, not for yourself. It's not unusual for a rematch to occur in a state championship final, but with a year in between due to the pandemic, well, that makes things a little strange. It's just that it's tough to get two strong teams to continue to succeed despite graduation. After the 2019 run, I didn't know that we'd be able to replicate this or at least as quickly as we did. You know, I was a little taken aback at how much they had improved and what they've done this year has been absolutely incredible. Well, we went three and two in our first five games. Um, and I told them, you know, this is the point where you got to, you need to dig deep and figure out what kind of team you're going to be. And they did, and we ripped off 12 in a row. Coggenchug is looking for a reversal of 2019. The 3-2 loss lingers a bit in the minds of some, but not enough to really change focus. I'm going to do the same thing that I've been doing these past two other games for the state tournament, um, keeping it light and relaxed, not stressing myself out or the team out too much. I think that really is what's going to be helping us again, yeah. Up in Connecticut's northeast corner, Summers prepares at the base of the huge majestic pine trees that form a natural wall around the campus. You know, they've been around for so long, I wonder what they would say if they could talk about this program. I think some of the girls might have an idea. It's a small town, um, but this program is not small at all. I think, just like Em said, we're a small team, but we're a very good team and we really carry each other. This is a hard working group of girls and I think they have what it takes to win it all. So with character and skill, both Cog and Chug and Summers look to finish off 2021 with bright smiles that go along with the state championship. Each squad knowing it's played as hard as possible and gotten the most out of the season. We're loose because we're so close with everyone and we just love playing the game. And it's that's, it goes back to wanting it. It means more to be here, especially to me as a senior and getting the chance to um, live it all again. It's just, it means a lot more. All right, so the showdown, Summers against Cog and Chug, high noon tomorrow at West Haven High. Joe, back to you. Mark Robbins, it's been a great season.